some video of some ass wagons, and some really cool road videos on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and very furry studio audience that is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. All right, uh, just first off, yeah, I haven't got the uh, whole complete tour of the whole remodel done. Sorry, I've just been working my ass off, so that hopefully will be coming up soon if I can get a little time, a little downtime. Also, you can see my Clutch Trucker uh, is not lit up. The lights quit working. So luckily as I was driving uh, after I picked up yesterday, in Highland, Illinois, I picked up a load of some sort of protein feed thing. Then uh, I took a route and went up through Kirksville, Missouri, found a Walmart that had the exact same one there, so I will replace that. So well, I want to have it all nice and set up and lit up again, so when we do the whole tour, I can show off the clutch trucker sign again. So that is coming up on the way. And of course, I know you're complaining about the fuel prices. Of course, diesel's even higher. And it's so ridiculously expensive right now. I have one. To, I can't even fill up the truck in one fill because the pumps keep shutting me off because it costs so much. This is how ridiculous diesel fuel is right now. Look at that. Nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, and I couldn't even fill all the way up. It shut me off at uh, basically a thousand bucks. Two hundred point eight four two gallons. I should have been able to put in close to two fifty. Yeah, that was yesterday. I had to fill up again today, and by the time I got to the place in Wisconsin where I got the cheaper fuel, again, I couldn't fuel up. It cut me off at $990. It's very frustrating. So if you're wondering why all your food and everything you go buy anymore is so much more expensive, that's why. Fuel has doubled since I was out here months ago. So that's why everything in the grocery stores is so much more and, and other stores. Can we think our current administration? I don't know. Maybe if, if uh, you know, Cotton Candy here, Trump had won, it would have been just as bad. I don't know. Uh, it's just, uh, it's ridiculous and something's got to change. Uh, and if the rates don't keep up and make me enough money to haul these loads, it's not worth me hauling them. So then, Prices are going to keep going up even more. What do you think? But yeah, I've been running my butt off, and uh, so I, I drove up to Minneapolis area today. Got some cool video coming up of going to, getting uh, in, right near downtown and going through the tunnel. Uh, and then I was picked up at Cold. I delivered uh, in Fridley, Minnesota, north of Minneapolis. Then picked up at Cold Spring Brewery and uh, cooked up some tacos, baby. Back here at Cold Spring Brewery in uh, Cold Spring, Minnesota. Just cooked up lunch. Ah, it's so bright you can't really see, but tacos, baby. Ah, oh, we have the tacos. It's a beautiful thing. All right, you don't care what I had for lunch, but they were delicious, yeah. Some stuff, my wife cooked up some taco meat at home, got that in the fridge, and so I cooked tacos here in the truck. Just one other advantage of the whole remodel. I've, always, I've been able to do that before, but it's just easier now. All right, first off, let's uh, look at the two ass wagons. This was a, a double, you know, uh, lane exit ramp, where of course then the right lane is merged in. And you can even see where it says merge, and you know, as what always happens with four-wheelers, they're impatient, and they want to just whip around you. All right, cruising along towards the exit, two-lane exit. And of course, look to the right in the right lane, and you can see where it says merge right there, and I'll slow it down, there's the arrow, but no. He starts whipping around me right now, and there he is on the shoulder, because he can't wait for the big truck. Oh. And now the clutch trucker zoom and slow mo. Yeah. Then uh, this idiot, um, as I'm getting close to the Minneapolis area, just just starts drifting into my lane blow the air horn at them and I'm looking down at it and they're just kind of like oh, 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 oh. zoom in slow-mo time keep in mind this is what it looks like as my view the dash cam's higher up and you see more of the hood but look at that sliding on over I'm like oh, I'm gonna get hit what a freaking moron 
I told you I'd save some video from the other night when I first left over a week ago. Just as I'm on my first run, had picked up in Windsor, Colorado, coming down through the Denver area. Giant wreck. Why does that not surprise me? Uh -huh. Yeah, the other the driver was saying that car passed him about 20, 30 minutes ago, flying all over the road, and of course, uh, we'll get a zoom in shot here. There it is, right there. And he's all wrecked. Single car accident. What a shock. Now, onto the cool stuff. As I was driving back through the St. Louis area after picking up in Highland, Illinois, uh, I'm going right near the uh, airport there in St. Louis, and look at this plane coming right over. Let's zoom in. Then as I'm rolling further west of St. Louis, uh, you don't run into this every day. Look! A truck is hauling a helicopter. Hello! Yeah, as I'm first behind it, I don't know what I'm looking at. And then as I come up to the side, I kind of see, yeah, that's a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, don't see that every day. Look at that. Helicopter on the trailer behind a pickup truck. Gotta love it. And then, like I said, this morning as I'm driving up uh, just close to Minneapolis, making my way up to Fridley, Minnesota, uh, really cool shot as I'm coming up 35 there, uh, 35W I think it is. Uh, right as you see downtown Minneapolis, that looks really cool. Then I make the left turn and you go into a tunnel. Let's take a look at all that. Exit 16A on the left, port I-94 west, then exit right. pretty cool looking downtown actually uh, it seems like a lot of times I'm there in the winter and it yeah you know, you're not you're not looking at the sights you're just trying not to die yeah so anyway I picked up at Cold Spring Minnesota and, I, and here I am now parked in uh, at the Petro in Rochelle Illinois I reserved a spot because I didn't get here till damn near midnight so I deliver at 1 30 tomorrow I'm to a Sam's uh, Club I think distribution center uh, in Oswego Illinois Chicago area that I pick up in Niles, Illinois, again, Chicago area, with a load going back to where I was just the other day at the Coca-Cola Distribution Center in St. Charles, Missouri for Thursday morning. So, running my arse off here, baby, running my arse off. Oh, and FYI, Rusty has now managed, he, he's managed to get himself upstairs and downstairs every day so far. Uh, he's still a little skittish, but he's, uh, he seems to be mastering it now just fine. I was afraid he was never gonna do it after that bad tumble when I first tried to make him do it back while I was still doing the remodel, but uh, now he's, he makes it upstairs and he makes it downstairs. So uh, it's a beautiful thing. So that's cool. Uh, I think Rusty is now settling into the new home here, uh, just as I am. And uh, again, like I said in the last video, I'm just loving it. The toilet is just such a huge game changer. Uh, having the extra storage in the fridge and freezer for more food. I have eaten outside of the truck twice since I left the house over a week ago, a week ago last Saturday. So I got uh, a couple of slices of Casey's Pizza because I love their pizza. And uh, I got uh, some uh, the chicken strips from Quick Star in Iowa because again, I love those, they're awesome. 
and I even bought a couple that they had out in their cold case uh, to put in the fridge and I've already of course eaten those up so otherwise every other meal I've eaten out of this truck saving tons of money better for me tastes better it's a beautiful thing well yeah I haven't had a chance to do all the filming and all the editing and everything for the uh, whole truck tour besides it was really overcast today and really windy getting some nasty weather I'm hoping we get some better weather soon so we've got some good outside outside shots and everything right around speaking yeah so that is still coming it's just I've been working my ass off so haven't had a chance to get to it so we give you some ass wagons and some cool road videos right give you something yeah baby thanks for tuning in as always please subscribe please like and comment get to your comments now that I'm back on the road sometimes it takes two or three days but I do get to them um, also don't forget about clutch trucker on Instagram clutch trucker on Twitter and as always sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust clutch and rusty out back off man I'm a scientist all right, he's eyeing that strip. Oh, you knew I was gonna throw it up there, didn't you? Oh, it's behind you. It's behind you. No, turn around. There you go, all right. So you're getting too used to me throwing it up there. I gotta find it somewhere else to throw it, right? Yeah. All right, Rusty with his begging strip bounty for helping, uh, for assisting in the opening and close here. Well, but you were fast. Yeah, all right. Get that last little bit. There you go. All right, Rusty, way to go. Give me a happy dog look. Rusty! Up here, come on, look. <laughs>